Why is it then? Oh, okay, my point. In the Bahamas, there was a young lady who was born in the Bahamas, who participated in the Miss Bahamas pageant competition this year. She was born in the Bahamas. One of her parents were Haitian, were, were Haitian and the other was Dominican. So one parent was Haitian and the other parent was Dominican, but she was born in the Bahamas. To add a twist to that story, she grew up in Florida. Beautiful girl, intelligent girl. Um, she had it, you know, she had it made when it came to pageants, had participated in pageants before. Were pretty cool. Her surname was Joseph. Keep in mind, her surname was Joseph. Okay. She entered the pageant. The first thing, the, the very first thing that people said was that she should not participate in that pageant because she's not full bohemian. Okay? She's not fully bohemian. She has Haitian blood. She has Dominican blood. She's not bohemian, so why should she represent the Bahamas? Okay? Haitians living in the Bahamas were saying, well, why shouldn't she? She was born here. Okay? She was born here. She knows about the country. Bohemians were saying she doesn't speak with a, with a bohemian accent. She didn't grow up here. How much does she know about the Bahamas? Okay? The Haitians were saying she should be given a chance, you know, just like everyone else, she's bohemian, blah, 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 and all of that. Now, flip the script to what we're doing to Miss Haiti 2010. The very same thing. The very same thing that we don't like when others do to us, we're doing to our very own. And let me bring you another, let me, let me bring another point across. The Haitians who I find who have so much of a problem when it comes to race, are sometimes mainly those who live abroad or who lived abroad at some point in their lives and those who are educated okay those of us who are able to read those of us who are able to write and who went to university and who finished high school went to college have the degree have the letters behind our names were the ones making a racial issue out of brothers and sisters okay when you go to Haiti in the mountainside the countryside People don't care what color you are. People don't. You ask the missionaries who go there. You ask people who go to visit. They would see you, oh, that's a blanc, you know? Yeah, so you don't feel blanc, you don't feel American. That's what you are. They don't care about skin color, okay? They refer to you because most of the times they don't know their names or whatever, and that's it. But they would not, they don't attack you. They don't rob you because you're white or whatever color you are. They don't hate you because you're white or whatever color you are. They don't, there's really no discrimination. When you go to Port-au-Prince, however, where the educated masses are, the um, elite, the um, those who lived abroad, who have come back home to live, that is where you find all the racial tension. And that, my friend, is where you find a prejudice and a discrimination amongst ourselves. Okay, and it upsets me. It, it really upsets and it angers me to think that we still have this mentality about skin color. Now I know it matters. I, I do know that it matters and I do know that others who are not this color also think that it matters. But you know what? Why don't we be the bigger person? Why don't we be... Why don't we step up and prove to others that we're not like them why 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 does it have to be light skin long hair light skin good hair light skin curly hair why in 2010 and you're calling yourself educated please do check yourself okay check yourself because if someone was to simply refer to me as Black skin, nappy hair, black skin, short hair, black skin, kinky hair. I wouldn't like it. So why are we doing it to others? My final point on this. If I am Haitian, why is it that I should not participate in anything that other Haitians are participating in? Because of my skin color. 
think about that because I don't look like the average Haitian why shouldn't I participate in anything okay or or why is it that I should not win simply because I look a certain way think think about it now because that's exactly the message that we're sending we're sending this message that unless you're black then you shouldn't be Miss Haiti and I don't know how they're going to define black because you have all shades of black okay when you go to Cape Haitian you would see some really really dark beautiful people in Cape Haitian okay when you go to St. Mark you'll see um, lighter lighter shade of black brown whatever you want to call it you go to Jacques Mel you go to Jeremy and you will see the really light-skinned people the lighter blacks so how do you define black I need someone to tell me that that's what I need someone to tell me I'm sorry if I offended anyone I'm not trying to offend anybody but I just think that instead of spreading hatred instead of spreading discrimination and prejudice why can't we spread love support and encouragement okay why because someone's a different skin color okay so why don't we discriminate about height or why don't we discriminate against hate no not hate why don't we discriminate against weight why if if, if we're going to start with skin let's continue on with weight okay and categorize people unless you weigh a certain amount of pounds then you know what you're not Haitian <sighs> someone please help me out please help me out here I just need I just need to know why is it that we can't get beyond and past racial tension anyway thank you guys for listening to me ramble please do comment Please do send in your questions and everything else. I love you all and I wish you peace. I wish you health. I wish you happiness. Bye guys.